Hello Aries, welcome, 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 welcome. So this is your love reading for May 4th to the 15th. Um, so I have the cards lined up for you guys already. So you guys have here um, the King of Pentacles, okay? Got second card is Six of Wands, okay? You guys have here the Temperance card. The temperance card. <laughs> that was my phone. So you guys have here the temperance card. You have here the queen of swords. Okay. You have here the nine of wands. Okay, Aries. Um, what do I see here? I see here where some of you guys are dealing with a earth sign here. I said four cards, they gave me five. So, <laughs> even Taurus did not get this much card. Well, maybe they did. So, you guys are dealing with someone here who is older. Um, someone here who is abundant. Someone here who is a dependable father. Someone who is a boss, okay? Um, I do feel like... Um, someone here might be stroking your ego, Aries. Um, when it comes to your love life, I feel like your, your egos is being stroked and you're enjoying every bit of it. Okay. Um, I do feel like this, this is someone you're spiritually connected to here. Um, I do feel like some of you are needing balance at this time. You're asking for balance. It's almost like you guys are going through some type of transition here where you guys are shedding the old and bringing in the new so i don't know if your relationship is going went through some stuff um you might have ended something or you might have um, ended a cycle or phase with your partner and now you're starting something new okay i do see that here for some of you guys i do feel like there's going to be a reconciliation um, here too. So I feel like you guys might have broke up with someone. Uh, maybe that's why the nine of ones is here. Um, and it could have been an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or it could have been a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and just uh, this is you though. Um, I feel like you might have been, you might have felt like you fought a lot, like you've been attacked um, from every angle. Um, and you had to stand your ground. I feel like you needed to stand your ground with someone here, Aries. Or you felt like you, you're just tired of um, fighting, but you wanna, you're want you still going to stand your ground here. Um, I do also see that some of you guys are dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini individual here. Um, this person has gone through a lot of heartaches in their life. They've gone through a lot of things. Um, that might have caused them pain. Aries. That might have caused them pain. So at this time, they feel like you need to step up to them with the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me. Okay. Um, so some of you are dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini individual here. Um, I see a woman here. Someone who's um, intelligent. Um, someone who uses a lot of their mental stimuli. Um, I feel like this person is feeling like they, I'm a big girl. Like anything you have to say, you could tell me. Um, and they have their sword up. So, um, whatever you've done to this woman or whatever they've done to you, um, this could also be your energy. Okay. You might have this in your chart. Okay, um, Aries here. So I do feel like there was something that happened here that caused you to have your guard. So maybe in the past, you, f you were just tired because you guys completed a cycle here. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going through that, um, completing a cycle of faith in their relationships. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys felt like you were fighting for your dear life um and you felt like you have to stand your ground okay i also do see here that maybe you have to stand your ground 
with this Queen of Swords here. Um, this is someone you're spiritually connected to, Aries. So, <laughs> and I also feel like some of you guys um, will be getting downloads through your pineal gland during the new moon because this is the reading for May 4th to the 15th here. So let me get clarification here. Spirit, give me clarification for the nine of what? What happened here? Why is the nine of one here? You guys, I feel like you guys are victorious though. And whatever this is, um, there's a need to be balanced. Um, I feel like there's going to be reconciliation. I feel like you guys are going to get downloads, okay? Mm, interesting. So some of you, there could have been a third party here. or You might have felt like your partner is in a third party situation. Um, because I see some of you having your having the need to walk away. Maybe some of you walked away from a Taurus, okay? Um, or you might have this in your chart. So you might have walked away. Or maybe this fire sign walked away from you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, individual. But I feel like there could have been a third party situation here. Or maybe some of you were married and are separated at this time. Um, uh, that also indicates that, okay? So let me get a clarification for three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles? Why is the three of pentacles here? But I feel like you guys are going to be able to talk to this person. I feel like there's going to be fast um, paced messages back and forth here. And I feel like someone here wants to be intimate with you. You want to be intimate with someone here, Aries. Um, <laughs> and I feel like, yep, there was an ending that brought you something new here. Um, there's a new beginning approach. So maybe you guys were married, you guys that are married or in a committed relationship, I feel here where there was an ending of something happened. It could have been a third party situation, um, where something had to end here in order for something new to begin because you guys were coming to an end of a phase in your relationship here and i feel like that's where the vic the victory card is here okay and i feel like you're going to be getting communication from this person or you'll be communicating with this person okay because their back is turned on you this could be a libra Aquarius, gemini or a leo sagittarius Aries individual interesting let's give me clarification on the queen of swords Yep, some of you are married. Um, so, and some of you are in a committed relationship here. Ooh. Yep, it's between an earth sign and a fire sign here, Aries. Um, I feel like the relationship is a suspense or might have been in suspense at some point here i feel like this person might be looking at things in a different perspective or you might be looking at things in a different perspective here uh, maybe that's why you guys are getting a new beginning here um and i see where something was was you know i felt like this relationship was stuck for for a while here um, where things needed to pick up and move, but it was not moving in the way it should because someone here, I felt like someone here was not, was moving too slow, um, which left the relationship in stagnation. Okay. Um, but I feel like you guys might be looking at things in a different perspective, in a different light, or the person you're dealing with here is doing so. Okay. Aries. Let's give me a clarification card for the hand. Why is the hand in here? Okay, so I feel like this person that you're dealing with, one of this person, if you're dealing with, if you're in a third party situation, uh, someone here has mentally checked out. Okay? They've mentally checked out and they're mentally moving away from the situation. This night here moves so slow. Thank you. Um, and I feel like if you guys are dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, I feel like this person has taken a hiatus. Um, they are taking a rest and meditating at this time or praying at this time. 
Wow. There's going to be justice in this situation. Also, I feel like some of you guys might be get, receiving an inheritance. Or uh, might be receiving um, alimony, spouses support, support, child support here. Um, I feel like if you guys are going through a separation here, I feel like um, you're going to receive some money. Okay? Justice will be served and you're going to receive what you deserve here. Um, others of you, I feel like there might be an inheritance that you're going to be receive. I mean, receiving, um, and there's going to be signature sign. Maybe this is a will. Um, okay. Or maybe the person you're dealing with um, is royalty. That means they got money upon money upon money upon money upon money. Yeah, someone walked away from. Um, so maybe you guys have Aries in your chart. Someone walked away here from a Taurus. Um, Capricorn and Virgo individual here and I feel like this person is going towards their night cup they want to get to their wish cup even though they love you and um, they would love to stay I felt like they're walking away from you um, some of you do have Capricorn or Taurus in your sign of Virgo um, there's an age difference here I felt like you might have reached out and they did not um, if you're a male, I feel like you might have reached out and they did not um, respond to your message um, because they've checked out emotionally and mentally. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's what I have for you, Aries, for your love reading for May 4th to the 11th, um, 2018. Um, don't forget to subscribe below. Don't forget to push the button, subscribe. Don't forget to share, like, comment. I do read those comments. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Thank you. Have a good night.